Shay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a haul, which I know are always exciting. Um, basically, these are just things that I've collected um, since Christmas, either using gift cards I got for Christmas, um, taking advantage of after Christmas sales, winter sales, semi-annual sales, um, all of that. So it's going to be um, makeup, clothing, and just some little um, decor items that I've uh, picked up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the makeup. Um, I got this one thing from Anastasia, Beverly Hills. This is the contour kit. Um, I really, really wanted this when it first came out, but it was sold out. And thankfully, um, when it released the second time, actually this month, January, um, I was able to snag it. So I'm so excited. I actually have not messed around with it yet. Because um, I had been, I've been sick, so I haven't even like really put on makeup that much. But um, I'm very looking forward to... Um, of trying it out. If you would like, guys would like to see like a first impressions video of this, um, let me know. Thumbs up, comment. Um, I actually have quite a few products that I um, am wanting to do a first impression video on, and I'm thinking maybe I'll sort of do them all in the same video, like a get ready with me using new products or something like that. Um, yeah, let me know what you think about that, or if you would like an individualized, like each uh, product, uh, one video for each product type of deal. Okay, um, next thing I got, this is the MAC. Um, paint pot and this is in the color soft ochre I have been putting off getting this for the longest time and I have no idea why um, uh, one of my favorite YouTube beauty girls ever um, Casey Holmes like uses this in every single one of her videos like um, after she primes her eyes um, I also have very oily eyelids like she does and very discolored eyelids like my my, my eyelids are like like veiny and red and every time she puts this on I'm like oh it just makes it all like so smooth and so skin tone and so yeah so I finally got this let me um go ahead and swatch it so I have not used it yet I literally just got these like two days ago so I really have not I don't know if you can see it had time to mess around with any of these things yet that's why they're still in the packages um but yeah I'm definitely going to do a video basically just sort of trying all this out together. I think it would be a nice a nice change to my usual stuff that I use because I'm very like ritualistic with the things that I use and so I'm, um, um, I am excited to try these out though. Okay, the next thing I got, I'll just go ahead and finish the MAC because um, my um, my Pro Line Worker Concealer is like down to the, the last bit. So I got um, my usual NW20, and then I also got an NW15 for um, for highlighting and concealing in one when I don't want to use my brightener or anything like that. So yeah, I got both of those, and then I got two lipsticks. <coughs> um, I got finally I've been wearing this lipstick for like I don't even know a year. Um, Candy Yum Yum, which I'm wearing today. I actually have um, like a drugstore dupe for it. It's actually Milani's Rose Hip, which I'm pretty sure I have right. Yep, right here. For some reason, I don't know, you know how when you just get stuff in your head that um, you just need something, even though you have like the exact same thing for like a fourth of the price? I don't know why. I just really, really actually uh, wanted it. But now, actually, that I'm looking at it, Candy Yum Yum's on the top and Rose Sips on the bottom. Um, candy Yum is actually sort of lighter. Uh, yeah, definitely Rose Sip is definitely darker and kind of more bold. And, um, Kenny, I mean, speaking of, like, my nails, it, it's more neon, so I'm actually, I'm glad that I got it now that I'm looking at this. But, um, yeah, if you want something that's very similar, just a little bit more shiny, um, definitely, this is the Milani lipstick, and it's 07 Rose Hip. I hope you can, let me see if that's focusing. I have not even, yeah, it's, ooh, not bad. So, Rose 07 Rose Hip, um, it's, like, so close. I mean, if you want just slightly off but basically the same thing because uh, yeah I'm wearing candy yum today with just um like one of the Maybelline lip glosses I'm not sure I have it in the other drawer but yeah but I just really wanted it and um you know it was after Christmas I had a, a little extra money so I said you know might as well spoil myself a little bit um so yeah and then another lipstick that I have been putting off for years is Rebel and I am not a gold lip, purple lip kind of girl, but I really love this color. It's right down there on the bottom. Sorry, I have to use the mirror to make sure you can see it. Yeah, I really love this color. Um, I actually tried a bold lip um, just this fall, and I was kind of amazed by how much I really loved it. It's like the bold berry on me. 
So I am so glad I finally got that. It took me forever, ages. I kept putting it off. Like I do, I do like stuff like that. I'm either like impulsive, like I will see it on someone's video, go out to Walgreens or Mac or wherever, and get it that second, or I will put it off for a year. That's just how I am. Is anyone else, is anyone else like that? Anyway, so the next thing I got, which is the main reason I actually um, wanted, um, all this stuff, by the way, is from Dillard's, um, minus Anastasia, because um, we don't have a Mac store or anything, we just have a, um, a counter at the Dillard's, so uh, my mom got me a Dillard's gift card, so yeah, but the main reason behind that, besides being the Mac, was um, I wanted to try this foundation out. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. <laughs> And I've seen and heard so many amazing things about this foundation, so I really wanted... Why do, why do I smell it? I really wanted to try it. It's very expensive, but sometimes you just have to spoil yourself. Anyway, yeah, so um, the color I got was 1N2 Ecru. Yeah, there was um, another color that I was matched to, but it looked just way too dark. And I'm pretty sure this looks way better. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, it looks very, very close to my skin tone. So yeah, I will definitely um, let you know, guys. Let you guys know what I think about this when I do try. I haven't tried it yet. Like I said, none of this stuff. Uh, if you would like a first impressions video of this, either um, me talking you through it or um, just to get ready with me, showing you how I use it, I have not. I do not yet have the editing capability to a voiceover. I just started um, editing videos I do have. I do vlog every day. Well, not every single day. Like, every other day I or every other day, every third day I do vlog. I will link my vlog channel down below if you guys want to check it out. So, my editing capabilities are minimal right now, but when I do uh, eventually get a new, like, a, a legit program, I'll be able to do the voiceovers and all that. But for now, it's either, um, just music would get ready with me or, like, a, me talking you through it. So, let me know if you'd like either of those. Um, but I definitely want to try this out soon. Maybe even tomorrow. <sighs> Do you ever buy something, or you ever go to buy something, and you know that it's just too much money? I, what I do is I think of everything in terms of food, because that's what I do. So I was just thinking about how much food I could buy with what I'm spending on this product. And I can't believe I bought it, but I had some, you know, I had almost enough, exactly enough left on my gift card. Candy Chanel bronzer. This is the cream bronzer. And what's even weirder is that I don't even like cream bronzers. I don't like cream products. I don't like cream blushes. I don't like cream highlighters. I like, you know, powder. Ugh. Because I have oily skin, you know? But I've seen so many people talk about this. And why do I smell it? What? Holy crap, actually that smells good. It's just, it's gorgeous and it's beautiful and I'm just so excited to try it and I really just hope I like it. I think I will because it was very expensive. And I've heard people say that they, they, you know, they have this and they use this every single day and they don't even make a dent in it. So I guess for the price, you know, if this ends up lasting me like two years or something like that, then it'll be worth it if I like it. If not, then I, I don't know. I will try to I'll make it work, because I definitely am not going to throw this away. I will find somebody to give it to, or I'll sell it. <laughs> I'll clean it, and I'll sell it. So, yeah. That is what I got from Dillard's. That's all my makeup, right? Yeah. That's my makeup. Um, yeah, I got my clothes to do. Oh, let me go ahead and just do my, um, my, my decor items. There's only two of them. Um, well, since they're sitting right here, and my clothes are over here. Anyway, so, um, I got these from Zulily, which is an online shop, also an app, um, for moms, basically, and they sell, um, like, women's clothing, they sell everything, plus-size clothing, you know, um, like, bras and underwear and swimwear and purses and jewelry, everything for women and, um, also for kids, anything, basically, from maternity to, like, young kid, um, so I shop on there, yeah, I get stuff for myself, I get stuff for my son, I, um, and they have, um, no, the home decor section, I'm trying to wipe this off, is, like, amazing. They have really great stuff, and it's not just, like, you know, not just, like, decorations. It's also, like, functional stuff. Like, I get kitchen kitchen things for there, kitchen tools. Um, they also have, like, uh, electronic stuff. They have pretty much everything on the site. It's like a flash site sale, so everything is discounted. It's kind of like Holt Look, but for moms. Or, I guess, you know aunts or grandparents or even dads. I mean, if, if you're just buying for the kids, you don't have to, obviously, 
buy the women's stuff. But yeah, so I got <laughs> two um, home decor items. Um, I am absolutely a huge, gigantic, massive Wizard of Oz fan. I love the idea of it. I love the movie. I love the soundtrack. I love everything about it. So I found two Wizard of Oz um, decor items for my room that I am so excited about. The first one is the snow globe. And it has like all the little, it has like the house, it's Wizard of Oz, Dorothy, Toto, and the, uh, the, the I don't know, God, I don't know what he's called. Like, he's like the marshal of the, the munchkins. And in the middle of the globe is the ruby slippers. And it makes snow. I'm just going to do it very, cause, very slow because I don't want it to sing for any, forever. It's somewhere over the rainbow, obviously. Yeah, and I just thought, I thought it was gorgeous, and it was like sixty <clears> percent <throat> off or something, and it wasn't even that that expensive at the beginning. Of, begin with, I think maybe it was only like thirty, maybe forty dollars to begin with. So you know, sixty percent off, it's gorgeous, and I would just like I was like I need it in my room. I have a Wizard of Oz trash can which you can't see, but um, I eventually would like to do like a whole sort of like subtle Wizard of Oz thing. Like I don't want like my my entire room wallpaper, but I want like little subtle hints, like like the trash can and like this and like what I'm about to, what I'm about to show you. I never had one of these as a child, like ever through my entire childhood, adolescence, adulthood, and I was so excited to find this. This is a musical jewelry box, and it has like all the scenes. It has with um with the Good Witch on it, and it also opens up. And it plays the music. I'm so excited. Like, I've never had one of these, ever. It's so pretty. Okay, so my t my camera totally just, like, was, like, low battery, low battery, shut off, and will now come back on, so I had to, um, charge it for a little while. Sorry, I'm kind of crooked. Yeah, so I had to charge it for a little bit. Anyway, so, yeah. So if I look a little bit different... I don't know, I don't think I do, but anyway, because it's been charging for a while, and now, um, there's probably going to be some noise in the background, because my son's running around back there, he's no longer, um, contained in the living room watching TV. So anyway, yeah, the last part of this was just clothing haul, um, I'm just going to show you some clothes that I got over the last, uh, month or so, and I'll tell you where it's from, just briefly. Okay, th these first two pieces are from Torrid, I'm going to back up a little bit. Uh, both of these are, I got very oversized, because I like, like, the slouchy, oversized look with, like, leggings or skinny jeans. It's just a little skull pattern. This is, like, super soft material. And the second one I got is just a plain black slouchy tee, but it has, like, the material at the bottom. It's sort of a little bit clingy, so it doesn't, like, whoosh out. Um, okay. The next, I'm going to have two things. I got from, um, ASOS, ASOS.com, ASOS.com. And the first one I got is this Maryland shirt. You can see that. I'm to smell it. And then I got this black shirt with London. That one. And then this, oh, just one piece I got um, from a store called Maurice's. And it is just, it's just sort of semi long. Um, and it's got skull with some flowers. And it's got some writing down here. And it's got some like little jewel details. I really like that. And then the rest of the stuff that I got, I believe. Oh yeah, everything else is from Forever Twenty One. They had like um, some after Christmas sales and clearance and stuff. So I got several things from them. The first thing I got was this sweater that I was actually wearing in my last vlog. If you watch my vlogs. It's a nice sweater, it's a nice thick sweater, um, just says boom on it. Yep, that's all it says, okay. And then I got several t-shirts, I got this sort of like mustardy color, which um, reminds me of like a Dwight, Sh Dwight Schrute shirt. This is Nirvana logo, like seriously, like, I love, I mean I love wearing like dresses and skirts, you know, tunics with leggings, and my dog is running outside with a giant chipmunk stuffed animal. Anyway, so yeah, I like, you know, I like wearing a lot of stuff, but um, when it comes down to it, I am just a t-shirt and jeans girl, so I love t-shirts, so yeah, I got a bunch of t-shirts. <laughs> the next t-shirt I got is a Buffy shirt. This used to be my favorite show 
when I was younger, and it probably would. I'd still watch it if it was on. Still, but there's, um, I don't know if any of you guys watch it if you're, um, you have kids or if you're, um, just into that stuff, but there's a show on The Hub called Spooksville, and I kind of call it like a poor man's Buffy. Basically, it's, it's kind of the same, I think it's even written by the same people or somebody who was involved with Buffy also was involved with this. And it's just, but it's just a younger kid. Actually, not that much younger, because, um, I like, I think a lot of people forget that, like, when Buffy started, like, they were, like, in high school, like, not, they weren't even, I don't think they were even seniors, I mean, they were, like, 10th grade or something, which is crazy, because they were in their 20s, clearly, but anyway, watch that show on, on the Hub called Spooksville, it comes on, um, the new ones come on on Saturdays, like, with Goosebumps and Haunting Hour, I don't know, I'm really into that stuff, even though it's aimed for, like, 10-year-olds, but whatever, I like it. <laughs> anyway, the next t-shirt I got, just the classic. Ramones logo, which I have another one in my closet, but clearly I need a two, and the next one, just a white, it's a Andy Warhol inspired Marilyn shirt, next one I got, it is a Psycho shirt, next one, yet again, is Marilyn, she is a goddess, Next one, the next two I've worn already, so they're kind of wrinkly. And just another Nirvana shirt. I like this color though. And then the last one I got. This is all of this is from Forever 21. It's just a nice, thin, slow GT. And it says, Tell me your secret, and I'll tell you mine. It's got lips on it. And it's also got some foundation on the top. Yeah, because this, I was actually wearing this in another video. So yeah, that is all my stuff. Um. I will probably be having several more hauls throughout the month, so look for those, and um, yeah, like this video, subscribe, share it, anything, um, comment below with anything you want to tell me, any suggestions, any comments, criticism, I can do criticism, seriously, just um, tell me anything that you think that you want me to improve on, and I will definitely do that, so yeah, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!